So, dito siya. This is how it works. And then, this is the trigger. There. So, gawa lang siya sa materials that can be sourced to any I guess any or most bookstores. So, the main cylinder and plunger is a balloon pump. Okay. The barrel is the casing of a pentel pen. So, I prefer this brand because it has good fit. So, you have to remove all the parts and just get this portion here. And then, uh, this, por this portion here is just popsicle sticks, including the trigger. Now, there is a catch here. Ito, you cut. So, when you pull the plunger, it will catch it like that. So when you press this, it will lift the catch. And then, it will fire. And the metal part is the is this one so this is a binder clips to use that and then uh, I had to also reinforce uh, this shaft here because the original one is quite thin and when you try to notch it like a notch it tends to bend so to reinforce it you could use uh, a ball pen like this so when you so this portion here can fit inside this shaft or if you don't you can find thick enough ball pen you can also use several uh, ball pen covers like this so it can also fit properly so in this case I had to there there's like a notch just like that and this is the big ball pen cover actually it is not a ball pen cover it uh, na yata siya eh. uh, i think it's a colored marker there and then of course the for the spring it is just rubber bands like this very thick ones and then i have several so smaller rubber band to you know Ayan, para the catch will always go back and then they're all held by just glue sticks so if I remove that there so this is just glue stick and there's a pin here the pin is also from this one and how the trigger looks like is this so it's just layers of popsicle stick and I had to shape it like that and then glue stick the metal piece just like that so it goes like this so here this is uh, again popsicle sticks two layers of it to you know give that a little bit of strength and so ganun lang siya so very simple but uh, it's a nice project so well you can always buy new ones but uh in fact, what I use here is a marker that has no more ink. And then uh, this one is also marker that has no more ink. So if you think about it, you could just find markers and stuff in your house. So that you don't really need to waste new ones. Uh, this one, a cutter to cut the popsicle sticks and some of the plastic parts. You could actually use this to even cut the pentel pen but you just have to be careful I had to use a, uh, pliers to bend the uh, metal pieces and of course uh, glue gun now to be able to create this hole here in the pin right also a hole here uh, what I did was just to use a small screwdriver uh, like this one so the the flat one and you could use it just forcing it gradually turning it until you know you get a hole so if you have other you know 
devices that could uh, make holes that should be better if you have a drill that's much easier but uh, I tried to do everything uh, manually just to make sure that it can really be made by anyone right so that's it